Hello everyone and welcome back to another coding video. So today I want to explain the tick phases, uh, the idea of tick phases and where it happens in the code. I'm not going to go into in depth on what the uses of tick phases are because, or like what the impact of tick phases are on the game because I already explained that in a different video. So yeah, um, but anyway, let's get into this. So basically where you want to be is in net.minecraft.server.world.serverworld and I'm using yarn mappings as I said pretty much all the time I use yarn mappings yarn map source code so anyway in the server world class you want to scroll down to the tick method and this whole thing is the tick method from here and like if I click on this race then it's going to make a blue line all the way until the end of the tick method so it should end right around here yeah. So anyway, let's see what's going on here. And you can see it's pretty big method. So first we get the profiler, the tick profiler for this, for the world. Basically the profiler's job is to keep track of like the timing and stuff inside the tick. From what I understand, correct me in the comments uh, if I missed something, but yeah. Anyway, here the in block tick field, um, that's basically, you'll see what sort of stuff goes on here while it says that it's in block tick. Cause you can see here it says in block tick equals true. And then a little ways down, it says in block tick equals false. So basically, from here when it says equals true to here when it tells or when it says uh, equals false somewhere around here. Yeah, uh, from there to there, it's considered inside of the block phase of the tick. But anyway, whenever you see so profiler dot push, it's gonna push like what phase it's in pretty much. And then profiler dot swap basically means okay, we're gonna swap world border for weather. So now we're in the weather phase. So anyway, yeah. Um, in first phase, the world border gets ticked, and not sure exactly what this does, you can obviously go into the tick method for the world border and actually see what this does, so yeah, basically just, I guess, re checks the area, um, that's all it looks like it's doing in the tick method. But yeah, anyway, next we have weather, and for weather you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here because I guess all the weather logic is calculated inside of the server tick loop, or inside of this specific method instead of like going to a different method, which in my opinion that would make a little bit more sense, it would be a bit maybe easier to see what's going on, but anyway. Yeah, whatever, you can see this whole bit here is basically the weather, and there's also a little bit of stuff about the player sleeping, I think. Yeah, basically it's gonna reset the day, uh, daylight cycle, if the player sleeps, and yeah, just stuff like that. Next, we're gonna have the block ticks scheduler tick. So basically, tal ticks are gonna get executed, and tal ticks is basically like repeaters, uh, comparators going off observers, stuff like that. And then we're gonna have fluids tick. So fluids being like water and lava, etc. Those are the only fluids we have, but yeah. Because they create their own type of uh, tick thing, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, next we have the raids tick. Next we have the chunk manager. And the chunk manager, when that ticks, uh, you can see what happens here. So it's just going to take the storage and all the stuff here. Um, not really that interesting. Next we have block events getting processed. So yeah, now that's going to be the end of the block tick um, sort of umbrella phase. Because each of these, there's kind of like mini phases inside of the block inside of the block tick phase, so yeah. Next, basically all this is gonna be the entities uh, for a little while here. So first, first thing that gets checked in the entity tick phase is the dragon fight. So you can see it says ender dragon fight dot tick if it's not null. So basically if there is a dragon fight, then it's gonna tick that. And then for each entity, it's gonna, and our entity list, it's just a list of entities. So for each entity list, we're gonna do all of this stuff inside of this Lambda. So it's going to check the despawn, um, check some stuff about the vehicles and some other stuff, and then it's just going to tick the entity. So yeah, and then at the very end of all this, it's going to tick the block entity. So block entities means like chests, furnaces, stuff like that, hoppers, uh, etc. And now we have the entity manager that also gets ticked. So when the entity manager gets ticked, it's actually going to load new chunks and unload the old chunks, I guess. So yeah, you can just... Um, I believe this is a feature of IntelliJ, you can just hover over the whatever method you see that's being called. You can click the three dots and click edit source and it's going to take you to that method in the class that it's in. So yeah, pretty cool way to code dig. 
but yeah, anyway, that's pretty much uh, the whole thing. Now, the ones I would focus on if I were you for like redstone and stuff is block ticks, because obviously I said those are repeaters, comparators, uh, observers, stuff like that, and block events, which I don't know if I actually mentioned this uh, in this video, but block events is like pistons, pistons triggering, uh, droppers, and dispensers triggering, and stuff like that. No blocks triggering. Um, also, probably the entity phase. That's a good one to know. And yeah, so that's pretty much all there is for the tick method. But obviously I missed a bunch of stuff, like I just skipped over all this uh, weather logic because you can look at it yourself if you want to see it, but yeah. But anyway, yeah, sorry for the late upload, but I just have a lot of stuff going on right now, so a school and whatnot, it's a lot of stuff going on for me, so yeah. But uh, survival episodes soon, I just needed to kind of release some video right now because my channel is kind of dying, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.